Welcome back to Educator.com. This is the lesson on atmosphere and climate change. All right, some fundamental questions about global warming because that's at the crux of this atmosphere climate change lesson. First question, what is the origin of known periods of warming prior to human existence? So if we take humans out of the equation and we have evidence that the earth did have warming periods and cooling periods and warming periods prior to us, where does that come from? Um, can we separate that from human-caused global warming? Will this warming period be exceptionally severe? So the warming that we are noticing happening during this last century and now and, and in the future, is it going to be way worse than the previous ones over the last half a billion years? Because we have evidence that we've had these other warming periods on Earth prior to human existence. It might be a, kind of a bad thing if, if the worst one happened during our time. So that's a good question. Is it going to be exceptionally severe during this one? To what extent have people caused or hastened it? So perhaps without us here, warming would have happened anyways. You know, and it's something that inevitably is going to happen. Well, are we making it happen faster? It's a good question. What will, what will the effects on people be? So whether it's us adapting to those changes over time or trying to mitigate um, the causes of global warming, um, we have to be prepared for, hey, what are the effects going to be on humans? Not just us on our bodies, on our food supply, on our environment, on our water supply, etc. How will it affect other life forms on Earth? So besides us, you know, besides human beings, uh, what will the effect be on plants? Um, what will the effect be on fungus? What will the effect be on animals? How can we make forecasts about it? Do we have enough evidence in the past to predict where it's going and how it will change based on the changes we make in our habits? What can we do to minimize its effects? So that, that mitigation part of it to make it less severe. Um, you know, some scientists on the more uh, downer side of it um, have already predicted that it's too late. And, and I'd like to think that that's not true, uh, that it's not too late to do something that if, if in the next two decades, we made really huge changes as a global community to what we're doing with greenhouse gases, etc. Um, can we minimize it and how much can we minimize the effects? Uh, these are two images of the peak of Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa. And uh, you can see that they're, they're both taken during the same month and it's about 15 years apart, these images. Uh, you can see that, you know, you would expect around the same month to have a similar amount of glacial ice or just you know ice pack because of those seasonal changes on this part of the earth but um, you can see that you know less than 20 years later um, significantly less during that same time period during the year now i do want to give you a caveat here that um, global warming um, you know the just the act of the climate uh, temperature rising steadily over several decades or hundreds of years or thousands or more years that's not the only reason that Kilimanjaro ice is, is less prevalent now. There are other reasons, and I'll give you some um, theories and reasons behind that later on in this lesson.